She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I film and edit my YouTube videos on Final Cut Pro. I am so excited because I've been waiting to do this video for the longest. Because if you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably know that I used iMovie in like 2020. So I wanted to make sure that I got used to everything and know what I'm doing before I just make a random video and like be all over the place. So I have my iPad right here. It's like a long list of things that I'm going to mention. And then my handy dandy computer that I do everything on. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. So first, obviously, I have a camera and tripod. That's like the basics in filming. I have mentioned this in like a lot of my videos, but if you didn't know, I use the Canon G7X Mark II. This is my only camera and I love it. Definitely recommend. And the tripod that I use for most of my videos is the Yuanzi Yulanzi brand, if I'm pronouncing that right. So yeah, I'll probably have it on the screen. Here's an extra tripod that I have. It's the Amazon Basic one. I really like this one for sit down videos, cooking videos, and stuff like that because like it's not really necessary for vlogging. I also just want to mention this because I struggled when I first got this camera. I use 1080 by 720 I believe or 1280 by 60 frames per second. It's something like that but I literally couldn't get the hang of it. I definitely recommend watching some videos on settings for this camera. That's just a quick tip. Now moving on to editing and all of the steps. First I start by importing my clips using an adapter. You guys have probably seen so many adapters in my videos. The amount of adapters I had last month, just last month, is crazy. So I just got this one like the other day. It's a really good brand. I just get these off of Amazon. But basically adapters are little like blocks. And here are the slots for SD cards and USB. This one just comes with the USB-C and the micro SD and simple SD. If you're wondering why I have two right now, it's because this one has a short. I always have short in my adapters for some reason like it just never fails once you insert this into your computer then you have all of your clips from your camera moving on to the next step i select all of the videos that i recorded and then i just import them into the timeline here's another tip before moving on to the next step i recommend doing all of your rough cutting first because it would make such a big difference i would say rough cutting definitely is like the most boring part and it can take a lot of time depending on what video it is and you don't want the video to be choppy so it definitely definitely takes time so I'm just gonna select the clip and I go right here to like adjust everything then I click B on my keyboard and it'll turn into like scissors basically to cut your clips so what I do this saves a lot of time I just go to the bottom and I can see where I pause and like where I'm about to start talking again so where it's blank I just cut there for the whole video and then I just delete all of the parts that are unneeded okay so the first three steps are done it's super simple you just have to get used to it also another thing and Final Cut Pro when I first started using this it was kind of complicated because it's so different from iMovie. I haven't used iMovie in a really long time. It feels really weird. So in this fourth step I add text, sound effects, and transitions. The text that I use the most are Helvetica New Bold, Helvetica New Bold Italic, Whole Flare Text, Soap, and June Gold. I do use other fonts sometimes but those are just the ones I use the most. Sound effects I don't really use a lot but I do like using Bottle Cork, Swish, Typewriter, and mouse click. My most used transitions are slide, static, and fade to color. Now I'll show you guys how they look. So for text, I like to use basic title and I just drag it to wherever I want the text to be. And I'm just gonna put hi, welcome. And here's how it looks, it's just basic, like it says. This is Helvetica regular, so I go to Helvetica new. I also use Helvetica new medium a lot, but I'm just gonna use bold. You can size it up or down. And then here's the basic title. Now for typewriter, I usually add that in the beginning of my video. I always put welcome or welcome back to my channel. Then I just add a black stroke and the width is usually like five or six. And then there you go, you have the typewriter text. One more thing that I do with text is the glitch effect so here is the basic title and i go back to the b on my keyboard and just split a little bit in the front and then also at the back now you have like separate clips then i click right here where all of the effects are and i type in bad tv and here's the glitch effect i just drag it to both of my clips then here is how to look I mainly use sound effects for my text, like when they appear on the screen. So for the typewriter, I have this video playback and I just drag it underneath the text and bring the volume up. Then I have the typewriter text and sound effect. 
Then for the basic title, I add the mouse click where it has the glitch effect because it just looks more cool once again. And it just really brings out the effect. Like adding simple things can really make a difference in a video. Now time for transitions. I also use sound effects for this as well, but let's just go over to the transitions tab. Here's slide. I'm just going to drag it right here and let's change the duration to three. I always just put it on three so it's more quick. And for this transition, I use the swoosh effect or swish, swoosh, swoosh basically the same thing the last few things that i do before i save my video and upload it to youtube i add green screens and music music it just like pulls the whole video together and it looks so nice like i just love adding music but remember it has to be non-copyrighted because youtube doesn't like copyrighted music so i don't really add a lot of green screens or overlays in my videos sometimes i do but most of the time i just add my like comment and subscribe green screen at the end of my video so in the effects tab you go down to king and then you just drag here onto the part where you want it to be clear instead of a green screen and then bam there you have it so i'm in a new tab on google right now and right here i have royalty free music which is basically the matic music this is like my favorite place to get music from and it is free unless you want to upgrade to premium so right here are the trending sounds and i'm gonna select this one new world by ryan little you just click on it and it'll have a download button right here and it's so simple like then it's already downloading so now back into final cut pro i'm just gonna drag the sound into the video and there you have it then you just bring the volume down because obviously no one wants to hear loud music over your voice one more thing that I do that I almost forgot to mention, I'm just going to select this clip and let's split it right here. So here's crop. You can like trim the video to get the cinematic effect. So let's do Ken Burns. This is for the zoom in and out. Now for the basic crop, you just do the same thing, but instead of going to Ken Burns, you just select crop and just crop it however much you want. Once I apply all of my steps into the whole video, then I am done. And I go over to the share button and I use Apple devices 4K, which is apple tv this is actually 1920 by 1080 but like i said i struggled with this this is like 20 frames per second i don't know but anyways i just click next and where i want to save it to i always just save it to my desktop because it's just very convenient so now it's saving and right here you can see the progress i got a question from zakaya vlogs and she asked if i can do a youtube video on how to upload your youtube thumbnail so i will show that in this video so i won't have to make a separate one before i got my iPad I use my phone to make my thumbnails. I still use Fonto and everything but this iPad is like the perfect size. I literally love it. It's just like my computer and phone at the same time. So I've recently been making my thumbnails with my Apple Pencil and Fonto on my iPad. So I'm gonna show you guys an example really quick and I'm just gonna choose a quick image. Okay, that's it. I really don't have the patience right now, but I just saved the image and now I'm going to go into YouTube Studio and here's the example video. So I just click this plus sign and then select the thumbnail. If I didn't outline this video, I would be all over the place. But yeah, that's pretty much it and that's all I do. Hopefully I answered all of you guys' questions on like how I edit, what I use to edit, how do I add effects, all that stuff. I just had to change my battery really quick because it was about to die. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. Bye guys, peace out. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features. You'll find the beauty go.